Hello and welcome back to Drive Driver Driven. I'm Humble and today a bit of an announcement and kind of a game plan for the next few weeks, month, give or take. Uh, but uh, somebody has gone and bought a house and now he has to move a project garage. Probably the worst nightmare any project garage can have. So um, I guess what we're gonna do is discuss how you do that. So yeah, looking around, uh, you can see that this is basically just a working disaster. Something about having three British kit cars and a couple other project cars. And uh, yeah, there is just stuff all over. And uh, we have to make some sense of it. Um, I've already got some loose game plans as far as dealing with literally over a ton of tools and toolbox. Um, trying to get both running and non-running cars to our new location. And more importantly is all this stuff you see in the background, this stuff here, all these separate project parts and pieces with said projects. Um, I have a couple ideas on how to do this in a somewhat cohesive way. For, for the MK, my goal is to try and get as much of the bodywork back on it as I can before the move so that it can be transported safely on the car. And for any smaller stuff to put it inside and then literally wrap the car up to keep it from blowing out or uh, coming out during the move via vibration or bumps or whatever. Uh, basically just keep everything inside the car that we can. For stuff that can't be inside the car like wheels and tires, uh, other suspension bits, brakes and so on. Um, just trying to keep those labeled is really what it is, is uh, to keep everything labeled as to what car it goes with so that everything can be sorted on the other end. Uh, big stuff, well, big er stuff, let's say, like the compressor and the press, um, those are gonna need careful consideration. <laughs> Not car stuff, the bikes. Um, those will take up space in their own right, but they can usually rest on top of other things. We'll have to be careful with uh, the fancy schmancy road bike because I really don't want that to be damaged. The larger fiberglass pieces like this trunk insert and the diffuser uh, will need some careful handling. The diffuser may be able to go back on the car for transport if I can get the rear tub on and the tub might be able to fit inside of like the passenger compartment, either the driver or passenger side, um, just to keep it somewhat safe. Um, I do plan on swapping the roll bar for the roll cage because the cage can be carefully transported on the car and take up less room. And then the roll bar can be transported separately uh, with the rest of the stuff from the garage. Where things get a little more dicey is loose, loose items, let's call it. So like flywheel and pressure plate, heads, uh, so much brake gear, volatile chemicals, paint, glue, uh, brake cleaner. There's a whole cabinet here just full of that stuff. And all of that stuff needs to be marked carefully. You do see that we have some bins over on the shelf there. And I've got some more kind of tucked up in the wings as, as well as some more Ultima boxes, a couple of wings, you know, like you do just hanging out in the rafters. That's kind of a funny note actually is uh, you always see these barn finds and, you know, I found X, Y, and Z in the, the rafters of this old barn. And previously I thought it was like, who does that? Who stores anything up in the rafters of a garage or a barn and uh, turn, turns out anyone who's run out of space will begin putting stuff up above. So we're gonna have to pull that stuff down and get it sorted as well. 
I'm gonna try and capture as much of this on camera as possible because I don't expect this to be the fastest and most efficient way to pack a garage, but it is definitely a learning opportunity both for me and anyone else making a move so that you know, if, if somebody's already done this, I am definitely open to suggestions on how you kept uh, things organized in boxes and then back out of boxes. I know this is also a huge opportunity to just get rid of cruft, like things that I don't need, don't use, and so on, to, to go through all the stuff that you see in the background on the walls and in cabinets that uh, you know I may or may not have touched in the last year. My plan is to um, get the Ultima out of the garage and then start staging on this side of the garage where the Ultima has been parked uh, in order to uh, get things into crates, get things into boxes so that the, the garage itself is ready to go. And as I you know, fill in this space back to front with things that are ready to move, Hopefully I can pull more and more of the garage onto this side and uh, this will all be, you know, going in a single truckload. Now one thing um, I did consider and I've already reserved is the type of moving truck for, you know, garage stuff, for big heavy loads, um, heavy equipment, wheels, tires, etc. So you don't absolutely blow your back out trying to move everything. And that is a truck with a lift gate. There's different types of lift gates with different weight ratings. Um, the toolbox back there, uh, we're not gonna move full. Uh, the goal is to pull the drawers out and then move just the roller and top box together. Maybe the cabinet too, we'll see how much it weighs. Looking in the drawers, I mean, you can see this drawer alone probably weighs uh, a couple hundred pounds. Um, and what I would like to do is pull the whole thing out with the help of a friend and then unload the heaviest drawers, at least up top. And, and so the goal is with, with friends, maybe pull these drawers out, at least the heavier ones up top here, and then leave some of these bottom ones if the overall weight isn't too bad. And it makes uh, the whole toolbox a little more portable or at least easier to roll. And then um, my idea is, so you, you take the drawer out, so the drawer is separate, and then wrap the whole thing in pallet tape or pallet wrap, uh, so that it'll keep all the tools, at least in their drawers, the drawers they're supposed to be in. Yeah, I might have to do a little bit of reorganizing once we get to the location, because I really don't think these sockets are gonna stay put, but, uh, another solution might be to take each one of these organizers out and individually wrap them with pallet wrap, which is actually something I might do because uh, that might help these stay put a little better. Um, I also thought about uh, wrapping each of these individually and placing them in, into uh, boxes, but I just, I don't think the boxes would hold up and uh, I would have to hunt through several boxes just to distribute the weight evenly. So not quite sure how I'm going to solve this particular drawer in terms of weight, but that's an idea. Uh, when it comes to like the, the wrenches, I think uh, there's not really, I mean, there's organizers here, but I think what I'll do is just pallet wrap this drawer and it'll do a good enough job to keep this stuff in place. Those are really the worst ones. You know, other organized drawers like these, not too bad. I know I'll have to dig through it once we get to the new location, but that's just how it is. Um, things like wiring supplies, because I don't really have a dedicated place, I think it's gonna have to go into a larger box just to keep all the wiring stuff together. Um, I want to keep tools together in the toolbox or wherever tools will be labeled together. Uh, wiring stuff can go together, power tools and so on. 
my my thinking is, is that you keep like things grouped together or pack them in the same areas so that they stay together and you're less likely to end up with uh, you know, power tools in a bedroom or uh, uh, wiring stuff out of place with tools and, and vice versa. Um, spare parts and stuff mixed in, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, you know, theory and practice are two different things. There's gonna be a, probably one or two more videos done from this garage, uh, which is, is crazy, because I, I think we've been here for like six years now and, uh, you know, we finished off and rebuilt the Ultima. We built the Zero here and we started the MK project here. Uh, we've done the Honda, which doesn't get a lot of airtime, but I love it. Uh, we've worked on the GT3 out of this garage. So I, I do love this garage. I love this, the space it has, the layout. Um, but when you see the new place, you'll understand uh, why we're moving. So. Be patient with me. Uh, this is going to be a hell of an endeavor, uh, but the end result, I think, is worthwhile. If you have any moving tips, if you've moved a project car garage before, if you have a tip or trick that uh, I haven't mentioned or that was really helpful, please drop it in the comments. Um, not just for me, but for anybody who's gonna see this video because uh, I, I, I really do wanna try and document how this plays out because I, if not a fun watch, it'll be uh, an interesting way to tackle the logistics of moving uh, not only house, but moving projects. With that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.